drawing from a number of different sources, which may or may not be reliable, frankly, they're, they're some of the most, you know, re reliable sources that we have for her because they are fairly contemporary with her, but Victorian era loved <laughs> flowering and elaborating and <laughs> um, their journalism was, well, it was just, it was a bit different, especially when it was magazines. So, there was, so we have this documented uh, from some contemporary magazine sources that may or may not be accurate. But according to those, um, Maddie was deeply impacted by the deaths of her baby sister just a few weeks before they arrived in Salt Lake, and then her father just a few weeks after their arrival. So she essentially lost both her father and her baby sister to the rigors of the trail journey, that overland crossing. So, um, and according to that contemporary magazine article, that really was the impetus that drove her to become a doctor. Um, leaving the reliability of that aside, what, what is very documented is the deep fear and terror that Maddie had of, at the thought of losing her children, um, which I think you know most people can relate to, but especially if you've already experienced a loss early in childhood, that's going to be even stronger. And so where I see evidence of that is that we do have a first-hand account uh, from Ma Maddie when she was in exile and her daughter Gwendolyn as a baby dr accidentally drank ammonia and that scene is is portrayed in the novel and um, and I think that as challenging as that would be for any parent having witnessed the loss of her baby sister and having witnessed the loss of her father, I think it made that moment as a mother for her even more excruciating. So I chose to accept that interpretation of that contemporary magazine article um, that I referenced earlier and to me that made a lot of sense that that her motivation to cure and to heal and to understand the human body and her intense drive to puzzle out medicine and to learn from the greatest resources of her day really started there as a very young child on the trail. <laughs>